This one sounds kind of heavy. Ho, 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 Merry Keto Crate is here. Time to open up the December edition of the Keto Crate. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted. I almost it. started saying your lines because I just finished filming two videos with Anthony and I can't get him to learn your lines, so I have to say the entire Everything. thing. <laughs> it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It's time for the December edition of the Keto Crate. If you don't know what a Keto Crate is, it is a monthly subscription box. It's got all different types of keto treats in there, usually like, 10 to 12 treats in there. We like it because you don't have to buy a whole case of stuff. Right. There's a lot of different things in there. Sometimes they're repeats, sometimes there's new finds. We've had some cool finds lately. This is my stocking. This is your stocking? Yeah, I. it's like a monthly stocking, honestly, because that was, you know, you have your Christmas list of like what presents that you want, but the stocking, at least in my family, was just like, you know, dealer's choice. It's whatever mom and dad wanted to like put in there, some snacks, some surprise, and it was always fun because there was that element of surprise. I didn't know what I was getting. Now, we honestly have no idea what's in here. When the Keto Crate comes, we don't open it. Uh, there's a website that's got everything that's in here and we try not to look at it. The Keto Box, I have to open up to get all the prices. Right. So if you're new to our channel, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go through, go through each product that's in here. We're gonna tell you what it is, how much it costs, what the nutrition is, and also what the ingredients are. And at the end of this video, we're gonna give one of these away. So, happy holidays. I love that. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so here we go. I feel like they should change colors with different seasons. Wouldn't it have been fun if it was like blue with like snowflakes on it or red and green, something like that. Breaking news, Keto Hecka Good Bars are ketogenic certified. Nice. Coupon for 20% off of your next order with them and a seven day Keto Club Keto Club membership. I don't think I realize like how many flavors there they are. They have a lot. And here's the thing about Hekka's, I, I'm assuming there's gonna be a Hekka bar in here, but um, some of the flavors I like. Some of them, they are flavorless to me. So yeah. it's kind of like, how's your taste? Here's an $80 off across four boxes of the Green Chef. Nice. There's a little card in here. Always has like Recipes, a success story. A success story. Who's this month's success story? Bum, 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 Is bum. there one? Santa? Oh, right here. Oh, nope. Mm, we don't have one this month. Oh man, you're the success story. Congratulations. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. First thing we got here, the Monk Pack Keto Nut and Seed Bar. I can't refold it. Sea Salt Dark Chocolate. We've had these before, but I don't remember this coloring, so this must be a different flavor. I'm sure it is. And I honestly don't remember if I liked it. <laughs> we are gonna just have to try that again. Okay, so the ingredients in this are almonds, allulose, peanuts, pumpkin seeds, soluble tapioca fiber, sunflower seeds, palm oil, rice flour, coconut oil, alkalized cocoa powder, sea salt, unsweetened chocolate, natural flavor, sunflower less, and then mixed tofurols, which is vitamin E, for freshness, monk fruit extract, sustainably sourced. There is, serving size is one bar, 12 grams of fat, 150 Amazing. calories, 12 grams of fat, five grams of protein, 14 total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber, zero sugar alcohol, but... Allulose. There is seven grams of allulose making it, three net carbs. Very nice, and a pretty okay. color. I like the coloring. Let's see how much that is. Sea salt, dark chocolate. Oh, I just saw something in here that you are going to flip over. I didn't see it. $2.08 per bar. That's well, right in there. You know what, you didn't see it, so I'm gonna just give it to you. Oh my lord. These are the 
Sweetened with xylitol, real peppermint ice chips candy. They are stinking awesome, but they will blow your face off. Like if yeah. you do not like peppermint, do not embark like upon this. I like anything mint menthol. Always keep it away from your animals because yeah, it does have- it's pure xylitol. It's xylitol. And the ingredients are xylitol, peppermint oil, and they're not stingy with it, cream of tartar, and calcium stearates. The serving size is two pieces. There's about 15 servings per pouch, five calories, uh, zero fat, two carbs, but like two sugar alcohol carbs. Right. So, and, and no protein. Oh, it's falling out the bottom. That's okay, I'll take one of those. Uh, and I'll take the other. So our package is open. Wow. These are so good. They actually come in like little tins a lot of times. Yes. I love these. I like the tins better. Be careful because like, yeah, it's open on the bottom. $2.75. I love that they're so good that we didn't even question that there's an open package in our box. No. We just eat it. Oh, one thing. If you are new to Keto Crate, uh, they do give you a special website. Oh, these are so good. And on the website, there are coupons. So like, for example, they're giving us a 15% off coupon if you want to order that stuff. Also, you can go to the crate that you get a crate club membership and you can buy individual things like instead of buying. Oh, I, that's so good. It's refreshing to not have keto breath. Okay, here's something we've never had before. Better, Better than good foods, keto crunch or keto chocolate crunch. How are you gonna be better than good? The ingredients in this are chocolate liqueur, a sweetener blend, which is erythritol and monk fruit, cocoa butter, dried whole milk powder, milk protein isolates, galactoleogosaccharide, prebiotic. Battlestar Galactica's in there? I don't know. Vanilla extract, kosher salt, and liquid stevia. Did we say these were 275? Yes, we did. Okay. Serving size is one bar, 190 calories, 18 grams of fat, four grams of protein, 18 total carbohydrates, five grams of dietary fiber, nine grams of sugar alcohol, making it, what is that? Four net carbs per serving. At least it's not a lot of fiber. I'm good right. with that. It's mostly sugar alcohol. Yeah. And it's chocolate. So of course there's gonna be fiber in there. Yeah. So price on these. It's really ooh, gonna ooh, come some, down to taste. I'm, wow. There is some good stuff in this box. Is it Merry I'm Christmas? Just seeing, price on these are $2.50. Not terrible for a nice chocolate bar. I'm gonna give you something we've had and I've never liked. I've seen these at Big Lots. They sell them at Big Lots. The cookie department, keto cakewalk, birthday cake, and sprinkles cookie. My thing is they've always been kind of flavorless and very high in erythritol. I so. know. So uh, this is made out of almond flour, monk fruit sweetener, erythritol, and boy howdy. Like you really taste the erythritol in this one. Monk fruit extract, grass fed, unsalted butter, whole eggs, prebiotic fiber, tapioca syrup, heavy cream powder, cream, contains less than 2% of rosemary extract, and then the sprinkles are made out of Arabic gum, spirulina extract, red cabbage extract, turmeric extract, radish extract, there's baking soda, xanthan gum, and natural flavoring and salt. One cookie is 230 calories, 19 grams of fat, six grams of protein, 17 total carbs. There's five dietary fiber and nine sugar alcohol. So you're looking at what, three net carbs. Okay. The ingredients overall actually aren't that bad. I actually don't remember the prebiotic fiber, the tapioca syrup in here. Maybe it was there and I don't remember it. But overall the ingredients are, I really want to like this, especially cause you can get them at Big Lots. It looks so fun and festive and then you eat it and you're like. We may have to give it another shot. Is there even any cookie going 375 on here? $3.75 a cookie is what the website says, but I think that they're like two bucks or something like that yeah. at Big Lots. Try them at Big Lots. Okay. Let's see. The Nutty Gourmet. We're Cecil Nutty Gourmets. I love walnuts. Oh yeah. What's not to love? Are these any kind of flavor? Just as sea salt. Mm -hmm. It says we are walnut farmers, family owned and family run for four generations. Nice. As tree nut farmers, we care for the environment through water conservation, renewable energy and regenerative soil. Starting to like these people. I was gonna say, and it makes sense. That's your product. These walnuts come direct from our orchards to you with just a hint of sea salt and lots of love. We tend to the orchards so you can tend to the snacking. I love The Martella it. family. Well, thank you, Martella family. I love supporting small biz family businesses Me too. Me too. So the ingredients in these are walnuts, olive oil, sea salt, and rosemary extract. 
You know, sometimes I just want a nut. I don't want a bunch of like weird flavorings, just like some nuts with some salt. Like we recently went camping and we stopped at a roadside farmer's market and got like the cracked pecans, right? They were yes. like, where they weren't shelled, but they weren't unshelled. They, they weren't in the shell, but they were like cracked where they couldn't sell them either way. Right. They were so good. They were delicious. Yeah, and it was just enough. Yep. Four servings in this container. And I can actually handle that. Walnuts kind of slow me down. Um, 180 calories per serving, 17 grams of fat, four grams of protein, four total carbohydrates, two grams of dietary fiber. Yeah, two so carbs. So that is uh, pretty good, especially for a nut. And let's look up a price I'm actually here. really looking forward to those. We may have to try them. I'm looking for the price. Price yeah, on are. these, $5 a bag. That's not bad it's at all. It's not bad. You know nuts are not cheap. Here you go. Oh, wow. What am I, why, what are you doing? What are well, you picking for me? Because when we open up the keto box with Anthony, he chooses everything. And so I figured like, I want to get to choose for once. How can you make chewing last an entire afternoon while I break out the Raw Rev Glow bar? Put in IMO. There you go. It says bar with raw superfoods, creamy peanut butter and sea salt. We have Do we tried. still have IMO in here? That's what I want to know. Let's hear the ingredients. Here we go. Let's find it. Where is the ingredients? Okay. Raw Rev Superfood Blend, which is peanuts, pea protein, brown rice protein, raw organic hemp, hemp protein, raw organic virgin coconut oil, raw organic chia seeds, raw organic sprouted flax seeds, iso malto oleosaccharides. There it is. Prebiotic fiber from tapioca and sea salt. Serving size is one serving, 180 calories, 11 grams of fat. There is 15 grams of protein, 17 total carbs, 14 of which are from fiber. And I don't even see any sugar alcohols on here. So I guess it's three, well, they're saying two net carbs. Okay, well, they're 225. Here's the thing. These are delicious. Yes. Because they've got IMO syrup in here. They're so chewy Which though. they're using as a sweetener. I mean, I always, I think they taste delicious. However, I think it's mad. IMO. And the problem with IMO is your body is going to digest at least 50% of that. So they're saying 14 grams of fiber. So you really should only be deducting seven. So you know what we do with this? Bye. Dump that. Merry Christmas someplace else. Okay. Oh yeah. Here we go. I should get to read this one. This is a good one. And it looks like it's dill pickle flavor. Thanks. Merry Christmas. You're welcome. All right, so these are pork and good, by the way. I'm just like going right into the ingredients because I feel like They're everybody good. should know that pork and good brand already because it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So these are pork rinds fried in pork fat, which is an amazing distinction. I don't understand why they got to cook them in anything else. Salt, sodium, deacetate, and spice extratives. This is dill. That's just the seasoning. Um, there's four servings in a bag, which not for Rachel, but it's a pork rind. We usually can get two out of it. We Maybe split two. it. Yeah, right? split it. 80 calories per serving, five grams of fat, eight grams of protein, no total carbs mm -hmm. at all. So, and they do have so many different flavors like white cheddar, pink salt and vinegar, salted butter, nacho cheddar, pepperoni pizza, onion and sour cream, and stupid hot, which is a truly stupid hot pork rind. Flavor. Pepperoni pizza is really good. Um, they've changed the formulation, so that's good. $3 a bag. We are not affiliated with them we at just all, love them. but we do really like them. And we have a coupon code. It should still be working. I'll double check with them as we get ready to do this video, but it's two crazy ketos. That gets you a discount. But again, we're not affiliated with them. We don't make any money off of them, but we really like we them. I think really they like have them. the best pork rinds out there. I think so too. Very flavorful. Lots of seasoning. Nush! Nush! We haven't had a nush, nush in here in a while. We love Nush and these are great products in here. Hey and Dave. Hey Bobby. Let's see. Okay. Ingredients. Water, organic flax, egg yolk, 
organic erythritol, organic coconut oil, organic glycerin, organic natural flavors, sunflower lecithin, raspberries, sea salt, sodium bicarbonate, monk fruit extract, and stevia extract. What flavor extract. is this? This is raspberries and cream. I don't think we've had that one yet. Oh yeah, we have. It's delicious. Have we? Yes. Okay. It actually I believe you. has uh, surpassed my favorite flavor of carrot cake. It's, it's really good. How did I miss this? Because I probably ate them all. 210 calories per cake, 16 grams of fat, uh, seven grams of protein, 17 total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber, and 10 grams of sugar alcohol. But here's the thing, they don't taste sugar alcohol-y. They, no. they do have a lot of sugar alcohols, but they don't taste sugar alcohol-y. They taste delicious. They're definitely a breakfast muffin mm -hmm. type of cake, like if you enjoy that. And we like to put cream, cream cheese. cheese. I like them as a dessert because they're not an overly sweet dessert. No. And uh, yeah, you put a little bit of cream cheese on there, warm it up. Oh, delicious. Super good. Uh, price on these are $3. They and, also have really good cookies. And they're very dense and like thick. Like you really feel like you're getting a lot. Okay, thank you. Oh yes, wait a second. Keto Farms. I knew this flavor came out and I went to get it and they were sold out and gone. So thank you Keto Crate thank for you, having Thank you Keto some. Crate because we get one now because yeah, they were sold out. These are Keto Farms and this is not nacho cheese flavor. These are actually the butter toffee peanuts. Kind of awesome. All right, so the ingredients are peanuts, natural sweetener, which is erythritol, monk fruit extract, there's butter, which is cream and natural flavors, peanut oil, salt, natural flavors, vanilla extract, caramel color. Uh, the nutrition facts are one serving per package, 140 calories, 12 grams of fat, five grams of protein, eight total carbs, two dietary fiber. It is, you know, peanuts. Mm -hmm. And then five grams of erythritol. Still so only one net carb. One net carb. Yeah. That's nice. $3, but again, when I looked, they were gone. This feels like holiday time to me when you had those like candied nuts. Yeah. And this is probably better for me to enjoy this than to make a batch ourselves because. We may have to try those. I would make a ton. Big John's. Big John's. Original beef jerky, handcrafted, slow smoked over real hickory. All right. I'm in Big John. I, I like What's this. in there? This is kind of like reminding me of mm, when you this have is like kind of reminding me of like a homemade kind of thing, right? Ingredients: beef, water, salt, sugar, mm. spices, lemon pepper, which is pepper, lemon, garlic, onion, salt, and sugar. Sodium nitrates. Okay. Uh, so serving size is one ounce. There's two servings in this bag, which I can get behind. Pretty that. generous. Forty-five calories per serving. Uh, one gram of fat, eight grams of protein, one total carbohydrate. All right. Okay, so it has a little bit of sugar, but not too bad. Like, I would actually eat these, no problem. Yeah. I don't concern myself with that. That's a tiny bit of sugar. If you eat the whole package, it's two carbs. You know, some of it's probably for the drying and the curing process. I feel like that's gonna be delicious. I feel like it's gonna be really good. Five dollars. It strips. What shape of jerky do you enjoy? Because there's all kinds of different ones. There's some that have it like I like very the wider pieces thin. that you can kind of tear with your teeth and stuff, even though I don't have good teeth. I like them to be kind of like, like round like and too. a little bit fatty. So I, this feels like it's it's nice. It's not too, I don't want to like break my teeth off because it's so grungy. Right. No, it's got to be soft. Here you go. Oh, pure sugar-free bakeable chocolate fudge brownie mix. You may have to make this. Yeah. So this is... Um, got organic chickpea flour, organic soluble tapioca fiber, organic acacia gum, organic erythritol, organic almond flour, organic cocoa powder, processed with alkali, organic natural flavor, baking powder, which is cornstarch and sodium bicarbonate. There's monocalcium phosphate, sea salt, organic stevia leaf extract, and Reb A. Contains almonds. In a fourth cup of the mix, because you do have to mix it with one egg, three tablespoons of oil, and a third a cup of water. But the dry mix itself has got two grams of fat. Let's just go with as prepared. Oh, you want so to do So there's 11 fat? servings in this bag. All right. How do you get 11 servings when you make brownies? Doesn't have Never. to be 10 or 12? Like, how do you get an odd number really when you cut up hard. your brownies, right? So 
I'm gonna go 10 or 12. So let's say 12 and then these numbers are just a little bit high. Suggested. Yeah. So there's six grams of fat in a finished brownie, two grams of protein, there's 19 total carbs, 10 dietary fiber, mm. which seems pretty high for the fiber, and then four erythritol. So you're looking at what, 14? So five, five net, carbs net carbs per, per brownie. brownie. Uh, I don't that know about that. That seems pretty high. Well, they're using chickpea flour. I don't know. Definitely something that I would make a batch for our nephews, bring them over Christmas morning. There you go. Yeah, my thing, I mean, we're not too much into like the baking mixes and stuff. Once in a while, that's what we use them for. Like nice a treat, and convenient. Something like that. Um, my thing with the Pure, that, that's $10 a bag, by the way. My thing with all of these products from Pure, they've been hit or miss. Like, yes. Like their chocolate milk drink mix. They nailed it. Is amazing. So we, good. We even ran out and bought some when we were camping recently because it was nice and cold and I wanted hot chocolate. But the liquid stuff, not so much. No. So it's kind of hit or miss is what I find with them. Okay, we got two products left and I get to do them both. Okay. Because you did two already. You're right. Right? So, no, I'm just kidding. You can do this one and I'll finish on the next one. Here's a Hecka bar. Hecka bar. I hope it is Hecka good, this what flavor. What flavor is this one? Chocolate sea salt. Okay. Feels like you can't screw that up. I don't up. think you can screw up chocolate sea salt. Well, I don't know because they th these guys screwed up the chocolate syrup, so. Oh my gosh. Wait till that video comes out. Yeah. Poor thing. It was Anthony. Yeah. That reviewed it. Sorry. All right, so the ingredients are almonds, allulose, whey protein isolate, soluble tapioca fiber, unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa powder, which is processed with alkali, cocoa butter, natural flavors, sea salt, sunflower lecithin, contains almonds and milk. Let's see, a bar is 190 calories, 14 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, 24 total carbohydrates, seven dietary fiber, and four sugar alcohol. So what's that? 24, 11 from 24. It's got a lot of allulose. You oh yeah. Find the number. Because it's, it says it's two It's written carbs. somewhere tiny. It's written it's two, somewhere yes. here. It has 13 grams of allulose. Yeah, so they are really good. The ingredients are super clean. They're just very high in allulose. So if you're a total carb person, just realize you're eating a lot of allulose. If honestly, of all the sugar alcohols, that's the one I'm okay with the most, but usually you have to up the allulose because it's only 70% as sweet as sugar. Here's what I found though with the Hecka bar in the Miss flavors. It's not sweet enough and it surprises me right. because I'm expecting sweetness to be like the consolation because prize. Because allulose is only 70% as sweet as sugar. So it, I think the best sweetener out there, but that is something you give up, but again, for me, I have some of their flavors I absolutely love, and some of them they're like, eh, not so much. Meh, not for me. Three dollars and twenty-five cents a bar. So we got one product left. This is good to try the bar because at three twenty-five, I don't want to buy a box of a flavor that I'm not sure I'm gonna love. Yep. So we've got Ross chocolates. Oh my gracious! Minis. Milk chocolate flavored thin. We've had this company before. We have. Yes. They're fancy pants. Okay. So they have a story on the back. You want to hear it? Sure. It says, born from the frustration of a chocolatier diagnosed with diabetes, Ross Chocolates is becoming the gourmet chocolate for ch of choice for those looking for a no sugar added treat. Our uncompromising approach to crafting the best tasting chocolate using the highest quality ingredients has earned us a strong loyal following. Diabetics and others looking to eliminate sugars from their diet have long embraced our premium chocolate because of its minimal, if any, effect on blood sugar. Our creamy texture and unique flavors make Ross Chocolates a guilt-free indulgence sought by all chocolate lovers. So the ingredients are cocoa butter, erythritol, whey protein isolate, cocoa mass, inulin, maltodextrin, milk fat, whole milk powder, soy less than natural flavors, stevia, and natural vanilla extract. Now I know you're gonna say, oh, it's got maltodextrin. It does but it also doesn't have tapioca fiber or any of the others. So a lot of the chocolates out there have some type of a liquid fiber or something for binding. This They're here, they're not using the soluble tapioca fiber, but they're using maltodextrin, accomplishing out. the same kind of thing. So just keep that in mind. Um, there's three servings in this container. Is there though? Which this, okay, another pet peeve of mine there's three servings in a container, but a serving is five pieces. And how many pieces are there in a container? I don't know, but I'm gonna, there better be 15 in here. 
right? Because somebody's going to be in trouble if they're only getting like a 0.7 of a serving. Personally, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they're individually wrapped. I can't feel it until we open up the bag. I remember but they're very I would elegant. prefer that when you do something like this, when you have these little pieces like this, make a serving size one piece. Right. Then you feel like, okay, I'm having a treat. Because when we do chocolate, we do one piece. Well, now i got to start doing math. How many right. calories? How many carbs? Because you want me to divide five. You know, like, come what if on. I, what if I eat it like this? Because if there's 15 in here, that means this is 15 servings for you and I. Or at minimum, it's seven servings because what we'll do is we'll have two pieces. But we're really going to have five pieces. I just don't see us doing that. 120 calories per serving, 9 grams of fat, uh, 4 grams of protein, 14 total carbohydrates, 7 grams of dietary fiber, 5 grams of sugar, alcohol. That's making that what, 12 two net carbs. As I remember... Oh, you want a price on this, don't you? Yes. The, it was very elegant patch, packaging. Uh, $5 a bag. So it's right in the line with all the other chocolates. Is this where we want to start or where we want to finish? Are they wrapped? See, no. No, see, like, I guess I don't like that. I want them individually wrapped. Yeah. You don't want me putting my hands in the bag. It smells very dark. Very dark. And these are supposed to be milk chocolate. I'm not sad. Those are I'm very good. I'm not happy either. Those are good. That is milk chocolate. That is not dark they're chocolate. They are milk chocolate. I will say that. They're, they're not bad. I like them. I just wish they were individually wrapped. I okay. do wish they were individually wrapped because I feel like we got something else from them and it was a fancier experience. But Four, this is almost heading to six, caramelly. It's eight, kind of a caramelly 10, taste. 10, 12, 14. Wow, they did it. 15. You guys nailed it. I'm happy. Okay. And it's uh, hard to make Are we trying happy. anything else? Are we doing a giveaway? I'm doing a giveaway. Giveaway? Okay, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Mm -hmm. Hit the like button. You got to live in the United States. That's sorry. An, I'm sorry, but it's just like... YouTube rules, that kind of thing. And foreign country rules is more of the bigger thing. It's not even the shipping thing. It's yeah. the foreign country rules. Um, and then leave a comment down below. And what we're going to do is we are going to pick a winner during next Thursday's live stream. We will still be in the... So it'll be a week. It'll be during the 12 days of keto. Which yeah. If, if you're watching this... You're in the middle of your, you should be watching this on day two of the 12 days of keto. If you're seeing this today, you come out when we have, including tonight, 11 more giveaways where we're giving away. So make sure you subscribe for that and you hit the bell button so that you're notified Every time when it video comes out. Up. So you leave a comment down below and the next Thursday, we are, dates right here, we're going to pick a winner from all the people who left comments. Is there anything else we want to really, really, that we've got to try? I really want the beef jerky. We got to give this another chance. It's beef jerky. We've got to give this another chance. Oh, we got to try this. The, the butter toffee penis. I'm ending on this. Got, oh I, man, just smell it. It smells it, like it smells like vanilla cake. Is it what it smells, smells like. like the vanilla cake that's like gone wrong. Gone wrong. Uh, after it. No. It's not bad. It's flavorless. It's like, it's an almond There's bomb. There's the erythritol. Yep. Right in the back of your throat. On my tongue. And it's like grainy. I don't, I don't think it's grainy. I don't think it tastes bad. It's kind of plain. It does have a good vanilla flavor to it. But that erythritol just hits your tongue and now my tongue is burning. It tastes like one giant sprinkle. Sprinkles do not, see that smells like right. That smells right. The other one did not smell right. Sprinkles don't add a tremendous amount of flavor. They're adding color and they're adding texture to something. Okay, we're gonna determine right now. The kids can have that, but we're gonna determine, because I, if these are as good as I think they're gonna be, I'm not sharing one peanut. No. Because they have their own foods. Yes, they do. Yep, this is ours. <laughs> wow. And you couldn't get any more. I mean, even this peanut is such a quality peanut, right? It's like the kind that just blow your face off with peanut flavor. 
Like this hasn't been sitting in a jar of That's planters awesome. for like five years. Wow. That's delicious. I guess we have to count these out to make sure we get them right. Ration them. That's gonna be today's video. Now if you like seeing videos like this, we love to review different products. And we have a complete playlist of different product reviews, which you can find linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we try something amazing, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.